Am I still muted? Hopefully not. Just waiting for chat to catch up. Now we hear you. Awesome. Uh, welcome to the Tech Trouble stream. Uh, OBS crashed as soon as I pressed go live, and then I'm missing audio on several of my scenes despite having set that all up in the pre-show. Anyway, my name is Joel Duggan, if you have not figured that out already. A big thank you to Alice the Amazon for the raid uh, to kick off the stream that happened while we were counting down. I really appreciate that, Alice. Uh, folks in my chat, if you haven't already, go check out Alice the Amazon on Twitch to see what they were up to on stream today. Uh, if you got a chance to hang around, Allison, uh, let me know what you were doing. Uh, but I do appreciate it if you have to raid and run. I often have to do the same after being in front of the computer for a couple hours. Usually a good idea to give a stretch and some food and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we are on the Citadel server, which is seven plus years old now. And we're heading back to West Hill, which is my four-year-old medieval town build. And we're going to be working in there today. I don't know what on. We're probably going to be doing a lot of puttering around, kind of just figuring out what our next move is. I think I might plan out the dilapidated farm. Although I think I'm going to wait to actually build anything in that farm until the winter drop comes out because uh, the pale oak wood is going to be perfect for a rundown old farm. Uh, anyway, we're going to jump into the nether here so we can start heading back towards where we need to go. Alza says, I tried a slightly new build for a bamboo farm. Normally I line it up with a hopper collection. This one is more of a grid pattern with a hopper minecart collection. Oh, very cool. Those are always really fun to mess around with. I do like doing farms and stuff like that. Yeah, the winter drops are in pre-releases. That's what made me think of it, um, Grimdian. That's what made me think of it is um, the fact that we're in pre-releases already. So, I mean, winter drop, it's going to come out probably before Christmas. My guess, even though it said winter and winter in the Northern Hemisphere lasts a lot longer than December, uh, my guess would be that they would want to try to have the new drop out before all the kids that play Minecraft are away on Christmas holiday with all the free time to play, right? So that would be my guess. Really interesting effect having a glass floor. Thanks. Yeah, we did a lot of work on the Nether Hub. We quite like the... I tend to like use glass to glaze blocks, so I'll use glass and walls sometimes to change the color, depending on the build. Depending on the build. Who's giving away free time? Can I have some? No kidding, Cosmic. I agree. Also, hello uh, and welcome into all of my regulars. I see a, a number of people in the chat that I see on a regular basis. I uh, Sorry I didn't quite get to everybody at the start but uh, the plan was to do a little bit more of a hangout with the, the larger video but obviously that's not quite working the way that we thought it was uh, and welcome into the folks that came in with alice's raid appreciate you all sticking around So this is West Hill, or I guess the West Hill Valley that we're about to walk into for everyone that's new to chat. And uh, I don't know what shaders I have on. They feel different. Maybe it's just time of day. It is almost sunset, I guess. Yes, sweet Sandy, I'd imagine that free time with a puppy just vanishes. But I imagine quality time increases dramatically. Tarsiris, hello. How's it going? Down, down, down the road. Yep, it's a long walk, but it's it's a fun walk to do. The first thing first, I'm going to sleep and reset spawn how old is elvis now sweet sandy four or five months no not months i was thinking the wrong way around yeah maybe because puppies are usually what three months old when they go home yeah i tend not to fly alice i tend to walk around west Hill when I first start a stream. 
Three months and one week. Oh. So they're 10 weeks. So yeah, I guess so. They're only really like two months and a bit when they go home, aren't they? 10 weeks is usually around here. Anyway, it's 10 weeks when they go home. Oh, eight weeks when you get them. Interesting. I wonder if it's different between Europe and North America. So somewhere we have a book. It has the build list in it. Most of it is out here. So the keep basement and all of the main decor, we're going to leave that to last. We've got tables and chairs and inside top design, the north gate. Okay. Um, needs tough. Oh, that's that rock over there. Yeah, that's that rock there. I might, we'll see if that needs, needs some work. Uh, that would be an easy way to start the stream for sure. Fields and grasses, curtain wall, field, an extra path to the east. That is over here. So this is the area that I was talking about on uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast and not knowing what to do with this area. Uh, little patches like this, we can probably just do this kind of a thing with just to kind of decorate them. But like, I don't know what to do with this area here. It's really large. And we did something like sort of natural looking on the other side. I don't want to necessarily copy that. It wouldn't be a bad place to start. But that's what I'm talking about in the book when it says... Curtain wall field, an extra path to the east. I feel like I've already done the extra path to the east. I feel like that's what that is there. It's not finely textured, so maybe we need to... Although, I don't know, maybe it's pretty, it's pretty done. Uh, I'll show you the other side. So on the other side of the church here, there's a very similar area. Right, so we just kind of made it overgrown, but all of this is hand placed. Like this is all sort of slowly built up and meant to look overgrown. And I do find it looks pretty good from the ground. Like you very clearly have a path here, but then everything else, like this doesn't look like you want to walk across it, right? You, you tend to want to go to either side of it. So that's one thing we could do in that area. It's not the most exciting. And this has the benefit of having a very large tree. And I don't think I want to do that out front because I think it just blocks a lot, right? It doesn't block anything here. It just kind of helps reveal the main tower, the front there. A cherry blossom grove? Gee, I wonder why you'd suggest that, Cosmic. Some people prefer to keep puppies with uh, the mama a little longer before separating. There's generally accepted minimum, but I'm not sure what that is. Oh, interesting. Like plopping down a pond and some trees, branches and spaces like that. So I already have a pond over on this side. And there's a river that curves around here. The river comes down this way and goes through the town. And then we've got a pond over here. And so I didn't want to just do another pond. That was the main, the main thing there. And I don't want to do another rock. I mean, I guess we could do it like a small one, maybe. Maybe like there or something. I think maybe this needs to be just like texture.
North points of interest, abandoned farm, bees and sweet. Right, yeah. The North River Bank. So all that is over here. I have I also have to finish this this farm. Yeah, so none of this has really gotten a proper treatment. Uh, there's no points of interest along the the developed side of the river. And yeah, we're missing some stuff there too. You can see where I started to plan out where a potential bee farm would be. I think maybe we'll start off by adding in what will eventually be the rundown um, farm tiers here. That could be that could be worth doing. Create a little bit of a of a wall or something. I'm not sure what I was planning here. I don't remember at all, so I'll have to figure that out. I'm so used to moving a lot faster in uh, Satisfactory. I feel like I'm going in snail's pace. And the whole idea with the tough at the, you know, the first note I had was to actually add more tough into that, but I think we're okay. Don't know if it necessarily needs it. We could maybe do a rock with more tough in it over here. I feel like that might be okay. Would match up with that one there. Yeah, so the thing that I find, Alice, uh, with that front path or that front area is that I don't want to put anything there that would kind of like impede that the town being defensible. I know it sounds silly. It just It's a little bit of RP. It's a little bit of just like thought in design that I want to stick to, you know. Grab that. Uh, those two. Might as well just get the landscaping stuff and go right at it, right? Seems to be the easiest thing to tackle. Maybe we'll just divide it up into chunks. Thanks so much again for the raid, Alice. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cosmic says, I, was, I haven't been on online in ages. I forgot how big West Hill was. Yeah, no, it's huge. Sorry you haven't been able to play, Cosmic. That sucks. The server's not going anywhere, so that's good. Um, I think I'll put everything over here. Oh, I don't have an ender chest, do I? Where did I leave that? Huh.
Yeah, I guess I need to go get a um ender chest. So there's one. I thought I had more than one. Maybe not. I guess my spare, I left it at um, the iron farm. That's that. Uh, I, th I also thought I had one of those too. I mean, I'm probably not going to need it, but still. It might be in the other shulker out there. Yeah, end game servers for the win, right? Like, you don't have something. It's not that you don't have it. It's that you don't remember where you put it. Yeah, I guess I don't uh don't have one of those either. Hmm. Again, I probably left it at the iron farm. That's fine. I'm gonna grab some of those, some of those. Was I using in the ground? I think it was. Looks like azalea, but then over here I was using. I thought I used a different kind. Azalea and acacia, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll just try and put like a rock in here, maybe on a bit of an angle. I feel like I did some other stuff too to make it look a little bit more like it was part of the ground. Oh yeah, pressure plates. Mossy cobble. Yeah, that needs to be a little bit bigger.
Hmm. Oops. That feels like it kind of has a straight edge now to it, so I might want to come in here a little bit. I think I use those close to the rock and then I switch to the other ones when I get farther away. Jake, Chris, hello, hello. Yeah, weekend is good so far. Oh no, opposite. It's the, the, the darker green gets farther away. Definitely need some pressure plates. This kind of stuff is always a lot of trial and error. I wonder if I can work something else in there. Maybe a little andesite. Yeah. Maybe gravel. That might be better closer to the edges. Hmm. Smilex the Jackal, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Oops. Trying to figure out how I piled up the moss a little bit over here. There's a lot more leaves. Oh, azalea saplings too. 
A lot more leaves going on. Stuff like this just kind of slowly connects to other things around it, you know? And after a while, it will start to make sense. Bam Bam MC, hello, welcome in. It's really subtle, you can't really see much you're up on top of it, right? What was the other thing I needed? Azalea saplings? They add a nice little texture when you use the top of them. So for like here. I think we need some more grass in here. Oh, I don't have any shears. Struggle with things like this. How do you make it look so natural? Oh, wow. Um, I think it's usually like a flow that I'm going for. Avoid straight lines really helps, which is tough in Minecraft. But I try not to have, you know, like technically there's just three blocks in a row, but even th th because this is a sub block, you've got that break. It just doesn't look like a big straight line, you know, I shouldn't say, I mean, there's three in a row here, but like three row in a row in on the edge, right? Like, so this is, we might want to break this up a little bit. Oh, 
And you can also draw attention to stuff like this with leaves. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with just also observing things in the natural world and it's kind of like having that shape language in your head for stuff like this. This is still feeling really flat and weird. But, you know, sometimes with Minecraft... When you add a block or a slab, it's just it's a little bit too much in one direction. And again, a lot of it's trial and error. I find if things are too evenly spaced as well, it doesn't, doesn't look quite natural. I find doing like a few little things kind of shooting off will help too. So what I'm noticing right now is this, it's not as green as I want it to be. We're not as overgrown. Yeah, that adds some more depth, right? Where there wasn't before. And so, like, sometimes that stuff will connect with other things you've got around it, and it'll look a lot nicer. I find overlapping things too helps. So like when you look at this over here, there's a couple of places where, you know, the view you want like a couple of pieces of grass to kind of break up all the bushes. The idea being that you're looking at it from the road. It's a pity you can't put grass on the mossy cobblestone. I agree. I think that there should be some things that you can do for that. Even if you could like bone meal the mossy cobblestone somehow, you know, to get something out of it.
So now I'm just kind of thinking about what it looks like from different angles. Sometimes your grass just looks like it's in a grid. Must avoid. So sometimes when you're looking at that, you're thinking, well, it's it's looking it's looking okay, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Sometimes what you need to do is put something in the foreground. All right, just cover it up a little bit, give it some layers. Same thing I did here, right? <laughs> Cosmic. <laughs> don't be straight well i got that one ticked off nice <laughs> well done so now the back part of this is looking good and you can see sometimes in the map like it just starts to feel more organic very similar to how this one feels over here. A little bit darker. Matches what's happening up there. So there's not much more to do here. So then it's just a matter of filling in some of these spaces. And I think what I did over here is worth it because I just started to put in like a little bit of just that mossy texture bouncing around it's like over here we could even do like a little mostly green green bit And then just start to expand that with the other textures. These two look really good next to each other, the concrete powder and the, uh, the azalea sapling. Solar Fox, thanks very much. Solar Fox, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Dan, good to see you. Mm -mm. Let's not forget about Moss Carpet. So right away, that starts to give it some depth, right? Oh, 
a lot of times you have to walk back and forth too. It's kind of like feel if there's any part of it that catches your eye as looking unfinished. How to braiding with a party of five. Thanks very much. Hope you're having a good stream so far. What's up? You're looking at it. It's not what's up, it's what's down. We're doing some landscaping. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in, friends. What were you up to on stream today, Tao Tu? Playing some Minecraft, it looks like. Uh, playing Prominence 2? Oh, maybe you're... Oh, it's an RPG mod pack on Fabric. Okay, cool. Right on. I don't do much modded Minecraft, but that's awesome. I've done like all of Fabric 5, I think was the last one I tried. But very, very cool. Um, for folks coming in, my name is Joel Duggan, and I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs. I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast, talking about sci-fi and fantasy stuff with my friends. Uh, this is West Hill, which we talk about a lot on the Spawn Chunks podcast. That's the one that I do with Pixel Riffs about Minecraft. And uh, it is a three-year-old, no, four-year-old medieval town. Well, medieval town plus valley, because we've been out here doing all the landscaping as the feature creep from the town has started to bleed out over the surrounding landscapes. And so we are currently working in this area here, trying to figure out, I don't know what's happening here, but I feel like we can probably handle this stuff pretty easily. That's feeling pretty good. I, like this looked like that when we started today. So I feel like we're doing, we're doing all right. Uh, no problem. I know you probably have to raid and run, uh, but uh, thanks very much for sending over your viewers. Uh, and folks, if you're coming in with that Tau tube raid, then uh, if you don't mind leaving a follow, then you can always know when I'm live again. I'm also on Twitter at Joel Duggan, uh, although probably focusing more on Blue Sky lately um, once I get everything moved over. So um, same thing though, Joel Duggan, I'm very easy to find online. Uh, Instagram as well, I post on my stories when I go live. Uh, and for folks in my channel, uh, go check out TauTube on Twitch and see the prominence mod pack that they were messing around with. Thanks for the follow, Tau. Have a good one. Cheers. So at the risk of like overdoing this, I think we're pretty good. I think maybe just one more piece of grass in here somewhere. And then maybe just like a little, little bush or something here. Nothing crazy. That's pretty good. How's everything look over this side?
And that's all right. See, now there it looks really open. Yeah, I'd say that's good. Right, well, it's getting a little dark. Uh, I normally take a break about once an hour, and it is that time for me. So I'm just going to pop into the inn here, someplace safe where I won't get blown up by anything. And uh, you guys can grab a friend, grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to reheat my coffee and I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Hunter Triple Five with the tier one sub, 47 months. Wow, that's amazing. Coming up on the big 5 0. Thanks so much, Hunter. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Sensual, hello, welcome in. Thanks for coming along with the raid. That must have been from Tao's raid, was it? That B sounded like a creeper for a minute. I was on my toes. So now that I've got this here, I kind of feel like we could expand this a little bit. Maybe have this have a little bit more to it. Not by a whole lot, but probably just by a little bit here. Out of mass. I have no idea what to do with these areas here. Usually the go-to is to just fill this up with bushes and other nonsense, right? I really wish we had slabs in moss. I know that doesn't make sense, but it would be very cool to have access to that. I find that's a good trick too, like two in a row and then one off to the side. That usually helps keep things looking organic. I know I think Cosmic was asking about that earlier. And you can kind of build off of it too.
I find sometimes when you see blocks in the same kind of column, it throws things off a bit too. We could almost go for a bush there. I was trying not to do it on every corner. Like it's a really good way to soften up the edges of your your banks, but like if you if you do it too often, it just feels repetitive. Hundred triple five inserts a joke about being subscribed as long as Westhill has been a thing. Wow, jeez, that's funny. Were you? Did you come to it? Like before we broke ground? Like, do you remember when this was nothing but a weird hill? This part of it is very slow going, I have to say. I really didn't do much for ferns, did I? Should probably fix that. Didn't do a lot in there either. I find they usually look good kind of behind other things. You tuck them in behind the grass. Here and there. I don't want to overdo it, but I do add a little bit of variety. You gotta be careful because if they're using, you know, if you're using grass to hide stuff or, or add layers, um, the ferns are not nearly as dense. And so they don't use, they don't have the same effect as you may want them to. I mean, in addition to what you're doing and they're cool. Whoops. And I'm on a carpet again. Jeez. Surprise, surprise. I came from the spawn chunks. Who saw that coming? Yeah, right. Uh, December 2020. So I think I had just started the front gate. Yep, that, that tracks. That tracks. December 2020. Wow. Yeah, it was, a no I think, November 2020 is when we started that potato farm. I think that's when that, that happened.
Oh, Boo, good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Oh, I didn't get any moss carpet. The fact that you can remember when you built something in Minecraft four years ago is astonishing to me. Well, I just... I, I did look it up recently and like when Grandpa Crafter sent in that um, Lego set that's modeled after it. I remember when I was talking about that particular Lego set, I had to look up when that was actually a thing because I needed to, I wanted to get some screenshots to share with the live chat and I had to go through my folders looking for the screenshots and they were in 2020. So recent memory, recent, like, I mean, I, you know, a couple months ago, but yeah. I mean, ask me when, I don't know, the apothecary was built. No clue. I mean, YouTube would tell you. And very often, um, I'll be wondering something. And then, like, Sandy will pop out <laughs> into the YouTube channel and come back and be like, oh, that vi video is from, like, insert this date here. Like, oh, that tracks. That makes sense. Just a little bit of variety through there. Trying to make it look like a path. good feels a little even but after a while you just if you finick with you know stuff like this it's just finick that's not a word if you are finicky with stuff like this uh it just eats up all your time and you you know played for four hours and you've accomplished like a patch of grass which i mean like this has taken an hour and 20 so i mean i guess that's the one thing i think that escapes um people that are maybe new to minecraft or people that are wanting to achieve certain things is that i think have the, the patience to like not rush through something it does make it look better in the end it just you have to have you know the ability to, to sync the time now it's a lot easier when it's your job so i will be first to admit that privilege of you know having the excuse to sit down every saturday for a few hours and play minecraft or more. I mean, obviously I stream all week long, but lately we've been focusing on satisfactory, but same, same, you know, like satisfactory stuff takes a long time. So I justify it because it's my job. Um, and even then sometimes, you know, like just like anything else, you, you might have slow weeks, you might have uninspired weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like I want to switch things up on the channel a little bit, like get another game going, something else in the rotation so that I can have like not three or four days of the same thing, you know, could do like, you know, a couple days of Minecraft, a couple days of Satisfactory, a couple days of insert game I haven't chosen here, you know, that kind of thing could be fun. I'm also thinking about switching things up even during the stream. Like I, I think we've accomplished a decent amount here. You know, like I think this, this chunk is now smoother, but I'm, I'm, I've got no idea what to do next other than just more of it. And these areas now, this is a lot larger. And I think it's going to need something else. Somebody either wrote in, sent me a DM, or hit me on Twitter. I don't remember. But someone was saying that I had mentioned on the Spawn Chunks. Uh, oh, you know what? It might have been a YouTube comment. Um, that I had mentioned here that I didn't want to put a tree here. Because uh, I didn't want to block the view of the wall. Which we already sort of do a little bit with this tree. I mean, this tree sort of serves as like a wipe reveal for the main gate. But then as you walk by, like this tree like blocks the view of everything. But that doesn't happen uh, if there was a tree a lot closer to the wall, it doesn't wipe in front of it. Like you see how this kind of this, this lamppost, it kind of has this nice 
kind of like wipe in front of it. So you really get a lot of depth going on. But if the tree is right in front of that tower, for example, or even right in front of the wall, it's just going to stay there. Like it's just going to block things. So, I mean, we could try it. I could try to grow a large oak tree or something here. But the idea I, th I had was that a tree would not still be here because the people trying to defend the wall, like a tree would give me cover if I was trying to attack this town. And so I feel like what you would want to do is cut down those trees. And so the suggestion from somebody on YouTube, I think, I think it was a comment, uh, is to have like a couple of tree stumps. So something similar to this, right? With like a rock and some grass and some bushes, but more like I've got one down here where it's like just a lone tree stump, right? We'd make something maybe bigger, like maybe something a little bit more obvious, you know, maybe like a, a two by two tree stump would be cool with some roots and stuff coming off of it. That could be interesting. You've learned to break up, build, break up builds when you're working on them. Uh, burnout is a real thing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why I took a break from West Hill and went to go work on the iron farm and the moss farm. Like, I mean, it was fresh design, fresh colors, new ideas. Like it is, it really, you know, technical builds of like trying to figure out the redstone for everything. It was a you know real refreshing thing. That's also why I'm spending so much time in Satisfactory because I find it so different than Minecraft. And I've been playing Minecraft very steadily and very often for seven years. And I don't want to lose it. Like I don't want to, not that I feel like I would ever really burn out on it. Cause I do, I do really love the game, but I, I feel like knowing and feeling when you're having that kind of, um, reaction, reaction might not be the best way to say it. Um, but yeah, I guess like how you're feeling when you're playing a game, you know, that you play a lot, if you're not having fun or if you're finding that you're just kind of like puttering around and wasting time play something else you know like when people come into my chat and they're like i'm bored in minecraft and i say then don't play minecraft like there's any number of things you could do read a book watch a movie um or try to find something specifically you know that you think might inspire you know you to come back into minecraft you know, like go look at some art you know go um watch a documentary about castle planning or something i don't know like anything that might inspire um, but I, in particular, find that I get ideas for Minecraft from other video games. So, like, go play another building game or go play another imaginative, fun, cartoony, bright, colorful game. And I'm sure you'll probably end up, you know, being inspired by something there. You know, it's funny how that really helps this feel um a lot better it also really emphasizes the paths like these these feel very like this is the way you should go do not go this way right i like i don't feel the need to walk over this i feel like the paths kind of pull you towards it this is more of like a cut corner but i think over here it's the same thing you know like very much path and then path All right, well, let's switch gears. Put some of this stuff away. Uh, I might, I might keep those.
So I think one thing I might want to do, uh, you can see a lot of these farms have got these tiers to them. And I think I want to do the same thing over here, but this will be the tier, the farm that's kind of got uh, the tiers, uh, like the, the, the farmland is not going to be currently used, it's going to be overgrown. So I'd like to try to figure out where, um, where that's going to be and how that's going to get laid out. Cosmic says, I tend to go play another game and I know I'm ready to return to Minecraft when I think, ooh, I could go build that in Minecraft. Yeah, that's 100% what I mean. You know, like you're, I don't know, Satisfactory is not the best example because it is a building game, but um, like I remember looking at some of the structural designs in Halo when I was walking around Halo and doing different things in that game and thinking like, hmm, I wonder how I could make that shape, you know, or that kind of structure in Minecraft or how could I do these cool interiors with like glowing bits and stuff in Minecraft, right? So it looks like I've already had like a rough path idea. Oh, I should get some coarse dirt. Sort of had a rough path idea here. It looks like that might have been like a gate at some point, but maybe not. And what's that over there? Maybe just like a rock or something or a well. I, no, I don't know. Wouldn't make any sense for a well. There's a river right there. And then we've got this wall here. But this wall, uh, that's the wall for that place. Yeah. So I'm going to get some coarse dirt and some coarse dirt slabs, I think. So what I'm thinking is this would probably end up, I don't know if it would necessarily, cur it would probably curve and stop there. And then there's going to be a natural border here with the cliff. But from there, I think we could probably have, probably the top tier would have a wall. And then maybe two tiers down. And then another two tiers down. So yeah, top, second, and no, top, third, and fifth, maybe? That would probably be okay. And the easy thing here to start is just um, replacing it one-to-one -one with cobblestone. Or a combination of cobblestone and tough actually would probably be a good idea. Maybe I'll use the cobblestone on the edges where it might be a little bit more like exposed. That's a little even. Yeah, I think that's the right kind of like rough idea that I would want to do. And then it looks like I had a path going by the house. The good news is we don't have to worry about like designing this as to have any kind of interior because the whole thing is going to like have half a roof with like probably grass growing inside and it's all going to be kind of torn down and looking a little bit sh like like it's in shambles. I obviously was looking at this path as like wanting to go down this way be probably because this is where there's a nice flat part of the river. Yeah so I think it would make sense to have the path go down here. I, 
don't know what that looks like as far as doubling up. I thought I made this thicker, but maybe I just didn't like it. I don't remember. Get out of the hole, please, and thank you. sense maybe we'll come in just a little bit more to wait until these guys are not standing on stuff oh this hasn't been done correctly How do you name tag a zombie? Um, just right click usually. I do these other walls are they on angles they are definitely on angles yeah okay Ooh, where does this actually stop that's the other thing I don't think I want to run it all the way to the edge I feel like it would probably probably like it'll be a little bit of like a no man's land kind of dead zone here so this might need bit more of a curve here. Oh, that feels a little bit too solid, doesn't it? I don't think it would be that refined. Mm, that's too tight, I think. This might be something that looks better in the world than it does actually on the map. I find I, I refer to the map an awful lot, uh, maybe to my own 
fault. Yeah, like that to me looks okay in the world. I didn't name the name tag first. Yes. Sorry. I thought you had gotten that far already. We've got a, a data pack on this server where if you name, I don't know what you call it, you, uh, quiet or shush. Okay. There's a couple of different things. If you name a name tag quiet, for example, uh, and then um, name tag a zombie, it'll no longer make any noise. Is it just silence? Yes, I think you're right, Cos Cosmic. It might be silence, yeah. There's a couple of different things, like silence or silence me. I think both of those work. But yeah, that's the whole idea, is that if you had like a zombie in your base for like, uh, well, um, an iron farm is a really good example, but maybe your iron farm wasn't like a standalone building. Maybe it was just like within your main base and you just like constantly heard the zombie moaning. Um, or you're like curing villagers and doing all that nonsense. Then... Um, it might be something that you you would want to um to turn off just so that's not annoying you all the time yeah i'm not really sure about this I think I maybe have to think about where I want the bottom to be. Yeah, like I kind of wanted to have like a more interesting shape through here. I think that works for now. Sure. Decent first pass. Going to stick a name tag with silence me on Alistair next time we're online together to see if it works. That's really funny. Uh, I don't... I, that would be really... It would be cool if you could do stuff like that and it would have some sort of interesting like passive effect. Like nothing that would be harmful to a player, but you know. You were almost out. There we go.
It seems like a pretty straight path. I might not want to keep it like that. Then over here, I would probably go down, what did I say, the, the other one, three, and five. Yeah, so maybe starting like right there. Hopefully that doesn't look like it's too close together. No, I think that's okay. And then the other one would be down here. I'm trying not to create any kind of pattern. I'm just thinking a little bit in terms of like where I might want things to be um, more of a highlight or make it look like it might be worn. I, I also think that there's going to be a lot of holes punched in this thing as I texture it later on. And actually incorporating it into this would be fun too. To like use the rock somehow. Now somewhere there's the path that's supposed to come down here. So I'm going to stop along here somewhere. I feel like we should try to steer the player too so that if they're coming down here, they might want to look a little bit this way to kind of see what's going on. So this is probably going to move. That way.
And this this area here looks like makes sense. To have it kind of fan out. Don't necessarily want it to be even. Yeah, that makes sense. Get a bird's eye view here. Oh, missed the tree. Is this tall enough? Probably not. Not really. I think that sort of makes sense as a property. We have to figure out how these two might connect or where there might be a uh, like a wall between them or something. Maybe like a little fork or something. I don't know. Need a better Batman perch, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We'll have to have some other stuff around here. Uh, I think this would probably come in here. gentle Gives me a starting point here anyway. Actually, maybe we'll bump this out a little bit. This just in. Man spends four years working hard making beautiful town, but local resident leads protest due to the lack of pink. <laughs> at 11. Thanks for the TTS sticker and the 200 bits cosmic. I really appreciate it. The cosmic snark is real. Saturday in full effect. Hmm. Didn't really do a lot of thought on this part, did I? 
Maybe I didn't finish landscaping it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe the wall doesn't go past here, you know? That one tier just ends up becoming two. Yeah, that could work. And then if that's the case, then we would probably stop it here. Yeah, that looks like more of a natural curve. Wait, how did you know the, that the local resident leading the protest was you? Oh, I don't know. Call it a hunch. Yeah. Plans are in motion. Plans are in motion. Oh. Subtle, but I think it does make a bit of a difference. Probably best viewed from over here. Yeah, it just starts to feel a little bit more structured. This this kind of empty space starts to make more sense if there's like a wall there and a wall there and what might grow up in between. Right on. Well, I'm pretty happy with that and I'm pretty happy with this area in particular, actually, now that I'm flying back over here. Uh, even though we haven't finished the whole thing, we definitely took a chunk here out of unfinished kind of grassy knoll in front of the town that was really bothering me because this looks great. I really, I'm quite happy with that. Um, but like we still are working here. And so getting this up to speed, I think was good. It kind of makes sense with maybe some local geology seems to be happening. Very, very cool. Uh, I need to wrap things up. I've got some stuff I need to do today. So I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. There's like four or five people playing Satisfactory. Six people playing Satisfactory in my follow list. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anybody that I know playing Minecraft right now. Really? That is surprising. It's a Saturday. How is that happening? Uh, I am open to suggestions in chat for a Minecraft streamer that you like, that you'd like me to pass you all along to. Um, by all means, if you're new to the chat and you're coming from another community, then uh, let me know if there's someone that you'd like to volunteer. Uh, preferably family-friendly, but doesn't have to be. Uh, is Ginger live? Yeah, we can send you all over to Ginger. We can do that too, but... Um, always looking to maybe expand the raid as well. Let me know if you want to do that. And uh, I will point you towards the spawn chunks. We have a new um, pre-release for the winter drop that we'll be talking about on Monday on the show. You can also check out things like the Citadel Cafe podcasts as well as Joel Duggan Vots on YouTube. And don't forget to check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support me uh, and all of your favorite streamers, really. Uh, and uh, you can get access to the Discord that way. It's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And it does a great deal to help me keep streaming. Uh, much like the text-to-speech stickers and all of the subs that happened today, I really appreciate the support. It's a great way to wrap up the week. And uh, I will uh, catch you all on, I believe, Tuesday is my next scheduled stream. Um, I may be revisiting the schedule over the holidays. I'm going to be a bit busier in December because I have to pre-record a lot of podcasts to have a holiday break. So we may have to adjust some of the 
stream times and stream expectations as I get busier. So keep an eye on that. There will be a Twitch uh, schedule update in the Discord. I don't tend to change much on the Twitch website. I'm not sure how many people actually check that, but uh, Discord is definitely where I update the schedules and let people know when things are changing. So I will see you all probably Tuesday. Uh, but again, try on social media at Joel Duggan on uh, Twitch, no, not Twitch, uh, Twitter, and on Blue Sky as well, and on um, Instagram. That's the other one. There's so many. There's so many now, uh, but I'm pretty easy to find, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Bye for now.